Right, good afternoon folks. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to Tideswell. In the Peak District. So here we are, Tideswell, lovely little village. Even if it does get a bit busy with traffic sometimes. But you should see it when the wakes is on, the local annual fair. You can't park anywhere, It's uh, there's a big car park up the road. That's it, you park there or you park nowhere. It's not that there's much traffic, it's just inconsiderate parking. Anyway, enough morning. Now one of the reasons for coming here is to take a look at the village church. Well, oh, huh. this, this is the Cathedral of the Peak, and it is a hell of a church for a small Derbyshire village. It's quite stunning, isn't it? Right, what else has Tideswell got going for it? Well, there's a couple of decent chip shops. Not been one of them, but I'm not sure if it's still open. So, Tideswell is known locally as Tidza. Now, many years ago, the story goes that a local farmer found one of his cows with its head stuck through a gate. So he sawed the cow's head off. Now presumably that's because he thought that the gate was more valuable than the cow was. Whether that's true or not, it's a different matter. But ever since then, the residents of all the local village call the residents of Tideswell Soyeds. So they are the Soyeds of Tidsa. Now, funnily enough, I was born and raised in Lancashire not too far from Bolton. Now near Bolton is a village called West Horton. And in West Horton they tell exactly the same story. The only difference is that in West Horton the locals are known as Cowyeds. So is that one true? Is this one true? Are neither of them true? I don't know. It's, it's just folklore, but I just find it entertaining. Strange that two villages so far apart can have exactly the same story. So, 
Soyatsukayats. Uh, just around this bend is a Beltonville farm and campsite. And strangely, the cafe that they have attached to the campsite is called the Cow Shed. Oh, I wonder if that's a coincidence. Or is, the, is this the farm where the cow had its head sawn off? Who knows? It is a very good cafe. I highly recommend it. However, just be very careful. That slope just there is steeper than it looks and there is always gravel all over it. So if you come in here, be very careful going in and also coming out. There's literally a sheet of gravel. But as long as you take care, not a problem. And the breakfast is well worth it. Oh, look at this for scenery. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the 20th of February today. I had to get out because this looks like the only dry day for a fortnight. Well, maybe Friday might be okay. Less time is forecast for rain. But look at the temperature, 13 degrees. And that's up here. Now we're coming to Millersdale. This is the River Y. And up there, the viaduct, that's the old railway line. Now part of the Monsell Trail. Let's move on. It really is so pretty around here. Look at these good views. Sorry about the sun through the trees. Getting a bit of a strobe effect, I'm afraid. That's what happens when you come out in the afternoon at this time of year. It's gone windy all of a sudden. Right, so that was Millersdale and Tideswell. Uh, 
just about to join the A6. If we turn right, we'll head to Buxton. We're going to turn left, head back to Bakewell. That is windy. Whoa. Right, folks. So dropping down the hill, turn towards Bakewell, to fit the dual carriageway. So it's not too exciting. I think I'll call that a day. Thank you very much for coming along. Hope you enjoy that little ride. So, take it easy. Keep the shiny side up and I'll see you next time. Bye.